Okay guys, so for today's video, I decided to do my current Amazon favorites. Lately I've been ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon and I thought it'd be a cool video to just show you guys what I've been loving from Amazon lately. These are just random things that I've ordered in the past few months. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to hop right into it. So the first item I'm going to be talking about, and I actually got a lot of questions about this because I posted it on my Instagram story, and that is this workbook. You guys can see it. So this is the Paper Peony Press Lettering and Modern Calligraphy Workbook. So lately I've been practicing my lettering and such. I'm a big doodler and I like to like practice like my lettering and doodle and stuff and once I wasn't in school anymore I kind of lost that so I kind of wanted to get back into doing that again because it's kind of therapeutic for me so I got this workbook which is really cool so it basically goes over how to do different types of lettering mostly it focuses on like modern calligraphy like brush script type of calligraphy like you see on the cover but it also teaches you a couple like serif fonts and some fun sans serif fonts but my favorite part is in the back it has little templates that you can practice so for example it'll have like little sayings so up here is the sample and then below is where you practice so like I've done a few of those and that's really fun like I said it's pretty therapeutic for me and I've been practicing every day brush script and like calligraphy is actually really difficult um and it takes a lot of practice so I've been practicing it because I'm gonna be starting a bullet journal in the next month like in December so keep a lookout for that if you're interested in trying to learn modern calligraphy and brush grip and stuff i recommend checking out amanda rach lee's channel she is amazing at like any type of lettering so go check her out i'll leave her youtube in the description below so the calligraphy book is i already said paper peony press and i'm gonna link all of these in the description but it was 6.99 so not that bad. Okay, so for my next item, it goes hand in hand with the book. And that is the Tombow brush pens. So I got this set of two. It comes with one soft tip and one hard tip. Like I said, if you're trying to get into calligraphy or anything like that, I would recommend getting some sort of brush tip pen. You don't have to. You can use... I mean, there's, you can use pretty much any type of pen if you want, but there is a certain technique to calligraphy and it's all about the stroke and the amount of pressure that you put on the brush pen. So if you are serious about getting into it, I do recommend getting a brush tip just so you can practice. I've been practicing with these two and they've been really great. I really like the one that's more soft is really good for the calligraphy practice. It's not too flimsy and soft, so it has the right amount of like flimsiness and stiffness. And then the harder tip pen is good for any sort of like doodling and also when you practice your serif fonts for those really thin clean lines. But yeah, um, I've been practicing with these two and I love them. So these were $4.25 for a pack of two. By the way, do you guys like my background? I'm feeling like the fall vibes. I tried to, you know, keep it with the season. Got a little pillow, got some pumpkins and a little candle burning. Anyways, okay, so on to the next item that I'm going to be talking about. I was talking about pens. It's kind of like a pen. So this is actually a stylus. So this is from, it's called Mixu. It's a high sensitivity stylus. So it's for your phone. And I got a cute rose gold one. It looks like this. It has this little disc tip at the end. So extra for this. But the reason I wanted to get it is because when I'm like on my Instagram story, sometimes I like doing like, you know, little handwritten text. And sometimes, you know, you just can't get it right with your finger. So I got a stylus because it lets you get it nice and perfect. But not only for that, like I like using it, especially like when like I'm sitting on my phone. I don't know. I just like using the stylus. It comes with two extra 
little discs on the other side. It has like a fiber tip. I don't use this side. It doesn't really work well on my phone, I think because my phone has a screen protector. It's kind of like delayed and I have to push a little harder than the disc tip. Um, but anyways, this side works better for me. But, and yeah, I've been really liking this. I've actually been using it a lot more than I thought I would, which is good. Okay, so like I said, this is the Mixu Stylus. I got the rose gold one and this was $10.99. Do you guys like my mug? Next item I'm gonna be talking about, I'm just keeping it real random, some hair scrunchies. So I got these little velvet hair scrunchies. They look like this, super cute color. These are like my vibes right here. They're like a velvet material. I believe these are from Kitsch, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. These were eight bucks, comes with five. They also have different colors of these. I've just been really liking these because I've been trying to stray away from using regular hair ties because they just freaking rip my whole hair out. Not saying these like are the best, but they're a little looser, which I like. And they're really cute if you want to like throw your hair up in a bun. They just give your bun a little slum slum. But like when I wear a top knot and I throw one of these on, it kind of just makes it look a little cuter. I got the blush and mauve set. They also have different ones different colors that you can choose from. Okay, the next item I'm gonna be talking about is for the gym. So I ordered this squatting pad. This is from Power Guidance. I think that's what it's called, yeah, Power Guidance. Oh, well, duh, it says it right here. And the reason I wanted to get these, I know they're not like the best to use on your back when you're squatting, but I've been squatting a lot heavier lately and the bar on my back just hurts like my bone right here and I bruise really easily. I've been using the pad. Um, the ones at the gym are disgusting and they're flimsy and they don't even work well and everyone sweats on them and they're just gross. So I wanted to get my own. So I'm gonna be walking in the gym looking super extra with this pink pad, but I don't care. Squats and hip thrusts are a staple in my lower body workout. So that's why I wanted to invest in one of these because I know that it will be used all the time this is just for when you're doing squats you can put it behind your neck and if you're doing hip thrusts you put it right around the barbell and rest it on your hips that way you don't bruise and this was a 13.98 like I said I will link everything in the description box so the last and final thing I'm gonna be talking about are packing cubes. So when I went to Mexico a few months ago, I ordered these packing cubes because I am the type of person I hate packing. I've never had any sort of organization when packing and I don't know, every time I go somewhere and I'm trying to look for things, I'm just so un unorganized and I hate packing and I thought, hmm, let me just try some packing cubes. Maybe they will help. And they did for me. These are from, I think the brand is called O-E-E. Ooh, ooh -ee. I don't know how to pronounce it, so. It comes with six different bags. You get three clothing bags, one small, medium, and large. You get another smaller bag. They call it the underwear bag, but I put like just random things in there, like toiletries and stuff. Um, you get a drawstring bag, which I put my dirty clothes in. And then you also get like a little flat bag really i think i used for like little like jewelry and stuff like that so they look like this i believe this is the medium one i filled it with some stuff so you guys can see for reference what it looks like when it's packed um this is the medium one like i said this is the small one it comes with a large one. It also comes with a small one that's kind of covered. It doesn't have the mesh around it. And this little flat bag that, I, like I said, I just threw like jewelry in there. It also comes with a drawstring bag, which I have no idea where it's at. But yeah, these came in handy. So it just helped me to stay organized. Um, usually when I'm on trips and I open my bag, everything is just kind of tossed in there and no organization. So I have to, you know, dig through everything 
but with these i organized everything pretty well I, these are super convenient even when i've taken little trips i'll take a couple of them just to keep my stuff really organized so i would definitely recommend these if you're taking any trips i'm going to be going on a couple trips here soon so i'm definitely going to be taking advantage of these again also these pretty much all of the bags fit right into a carry-on size bag i've even used a couple and thrown them into a duffel bag these were $19.99 yeah seven piece packing Cute. i would recommend getting these if you travel a lot it just helps to keep your stuff nice and organized all right guys so that is it for my current amazon favorites um i really enjoyed doing this video and i think i'm gonna start doing more just about maybe like a monthly every couple months just about the random things that i buy from amazon i've been shopping on amazon a lot lately it's just super convenient they have everything on there and especially when you have prime and you can get it delivered in two days like i said i will leave everything that i mentioned in the description box below that is it so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i appreciate all the love and support as always and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.